Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to do a stage 1 remap on the smart car 2009. We're going to use ECM titanium. we we'll brass for the original file first. And once that's open, we'll let the system do the automatic search for the correct driver. system has found two drivers and they both look very similar so we'll try the first one click no and yes to save it onto the database and now you've got all of the options for the maps we'll open up our spreadsheet with all of the information and since we're doing stage one I'll highlight this okay so injection we're going to increase by six percent What we're going to do is we're going to take the percentage down to 0.5 and increase the values by 0.5 in intervals. Press the percent button and select the load from 19 to 1000 and press page up and then select the next data and press page up again and keep doing that until, until you get to a total of 6%. That's 5.5% and that is 6% altogether. We can close this one and move on to the next injection map. And do the same thing here from 19 load to 1000 RPMs. And increase it by 0.5. Make sure to have the percent button selected. And press page up. Keep selecting the new data and pressing page up each time. And that's six percent done so we can close this as well and that is all of the injection maps done next we're going to move on to the rail pressure maps rail pressure is three percent increase so we'll go on the rail pressure and we'll select the data and press the percent button and page up to increase the values For this one we're going to leave a gap of two rows and two columns each time and increase the values to give us an equal increase. That's 3% altogether done. And we move on to the last rail pressure. And the same thing here. We'll select the data, press page up. Now we'll move on to the next one, and we're going to do the same thing here 19 load and 1000 RPMs. Select the data, press the percent button, and press page up. Leave a gap of two rows and two columns, and 
do the same thing again until you get to the bottom corner and your total increase hits 3%. That's 1.5%, 2%, 2.5%, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, 7%, 8%, 9%, 10%, 11%, 12%, 13%, 14%, 15%, 16%, 17%, 18%, 19%, 20%, 21%, 22%, 23%, 24%, 25%, 26%, 27%, 28%, 29%, 30%, 4.5 and 5. 5% is a good increase on this so we can leave it at that. Save and exit onto the next one. Next we've got the fuel during acceleration. Once you open the map, click enter and the fuel we're going to increase by 3%. So we'll do the same thing, percent button selected, select the data and increase by 0.5 with each step you can see the data changing colors where it's having the increase and that's three percent done so we can move on to the next one next is the turbo pressure turbo pressure we're going to increase to six percent Once you open up the turbo pressure, you can go onto the 21 load and 1000 revs. Select the data and press the percent button and press page up to increase all of the values. And follow through the whole data set with the same interval of 6% and we can close this and move on to the next one and we're going to do the same thing here to get a total increase of 6% so we'll select all of that take the percentage to 1 press the percent button and press page up to increase it as we have less space to move around so we'll keep it at a flat 1% increase each time that gives us our 6% so we can close this do not modify and move on to the next one next we've got the torque limiters the torque limiter we're increasing all of it by 35% so take the percentage up to 35 Press the percent button and select all of the data and press page up to increase the values and you can close this and move on to the next one. Same thing on this one, enter to access the map, select all of the data, percent button selected and page up to increase the values. The pressure limiter is 6% again so we'll take the values down of the percentage once that's done click the percent button put the percentage to 1 that'll look better and select the data and press page up each time with each interval so that you can get a good stable increase in the values once that's done you can close this and save it because now this is ready and click yes to export it as modified file
once you've got the file name saved you can click save and the file is ready you can close everything else you don't need all of this anymore and if you open up the folder you'll see the stage one ecom mod file is ready and you can put this into the car for a good eco mod remap thank you for watching